So you want to play some scary games with your friends for the spooky season? I've got my top four picks for you. If you watch much of my content, you've probably noticed that I mostly enjoy my scary games with friends. For a lot of people, playing with others helps those spooky games feel a little less scary. So for this Halloween season, I've got my top four picks for you to play with friends. My top pick for scary games is Phasmophobia. That probably comes as no surprise as I cover Phasmophobia more than any other game on my channel. This spooky season, we have a lot of new stuff to try out in Phasmophobia. The biggest update of the year just released, and if you've not been in Sunny Meadows yet, then you're missing out. Not only can you play it as a large map, but as a small map, and it definitely brings the scary to a whole new level. Phasmophobia also just released part of their Halloween update with the promise of more to come. Check out all the scary new stuff in the lobby, including this extra spooky scare. You can create custom games, explore two new maps, Sunny Meadows and Camp Woodwind, and you can collect items for your personal trophy case in your lobby. And as of this week, Phasmophobia has its own themed items in the point shop on Steam. There's also a current competition players can compete in by playing solo games on extreme difficulties. With a multiplier of times 15 or more, players will earn a bronze trophy to display in their lobbies. 20 or more receives a silver trophy and 24 or more will receive a gold trophy. My second pick for scary games for Halloween is Labyrinthine. Sadly, this is a game I have woefully been lax on covering on this channel, but it is an excellent game and has had some very exciting and fun updates. If you've watched my streams in the past, then you may remember a few Labyrinthine streams where I completed the story part of this game. But the real magic for you and your friends lies in the small cases. In these shorter games, you and your team will attempt to escape a labyrinth while also completing objectives, and for this spooky season only, you can collect limited time cosmetics. This game certainly has its own kind of scary as players attempt to escape the labyrinth, but only after completing objectives. This in-game event lasts from now through midnight on October 31st. My next pick is Devour. Not only is this game super affordable, but it provides some very detailed environments, teamwork, and seasonal rewards. Players can join the Halloween event now through November 1st and can earn permanent rewards. I already covered the pumpkins in this video here, but collecting these items will award players with the pumpkin robe. If you got your robe last year, you'll have to re-earn it this year as previously it was stored as a collectible rather than being tied to an achievement. During this event, you can also earn this new skin for the cultist by beating any map on hard or nightmare difficulty while playing as the cultist. During the event, there will also be an XP boost to help those of you newer to the game gain some levels a bit quicker. My final pick is Ghost Watchers. This game is newer to the horror genre, and despite some lackluster reviews, has proved at least to me that it deserves this spot. This game has creepy ghosts with unique characteristics and is a lot of fun. While it hasn't had an update recently, developers are working on an update and have released these images and this video with the promise of new mechanics, ghosts, and maps. There is no confirmation of a Halloween or a spooky season update, but I'd imagine that they're hoping to get this update out before Halloween. Do you have your own suggestions for scary games for the Halloween season? Have you tried the games I mentioned? Let me know what you'd recommend to your friends and what games you've played this season in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember, gaming, even spooky gaming, should be fun.